I that. just have to run. That's true, <laughs> which is not very historical. No. <laughs> but if you run, I probably have to run. Oh, you, you do whatever you like. <laughs> <laughs> That's not friendly. Alrighty. So what we're doing is Napoleon's last battles from SBI 1976. Six. Yep. One of the first and earlier full colour games. And uh, uh, an incredibly clever quad. Except I think that now the rules are suffering grievously, aren't they? Yeah, People. well, it is, but wasn't this the first campaign quad? It, I think it, it was. was. I think it yeah. was the first campaign quad. It has such a, a brilliant idea. Yep, yep. I think. Yep. Um, but as you say, uh, the execution has probably dated a bit. Yep. Um, there is a set of rules out there, which I understand um, uh, lifts this game quite nicely, but well, not I don't stump, think we're in a position. Stumpy's rules, no. No, we're not There's going to play this game with rules, are no, we? No. no. See, <laughs> I, I would not touch Stumpy's rules. Um, so I think just, rules are overrated. That's your friend, um, can, Daniel. Can we recap on, on Zox? Um, how does Zox work? Um, they don't. They're sticky. <laughs> They're completely sticky. So you, you enter, you, you stay. Must, you stay you must, forever. Yep, and you right. must, must attack. And yep. I think... Uh, there's a difference about night game turns, but let's worry are, about that. There. But that's a fair bit down the track. Stacking yep. two units. Right. Okay, good. And uh, when you advance, only one unit can advance. That's right. Yep. Uh, uh, units for the core commanders, you've got to be... If for a unit to be able to attack, a unit has to be within six hexes, I think, or five hexes, someone might have to check it, of the core commander. And ten hexes for the army commander. That's right. Know? And right. the army commander com commands the number of cores mm. according oh, to right. his rating. Or units. Or and all. And units. And so, units. Yes. So, Marshal Ney with one can command one core and one unit. Okay. Right. Artillery, um, and bombard. Ranger two, yep, and bombard, th and there's I a combined there's attack a, rule, isn't there? Yeah, and I think there's a line of sight arrangement with that too, so I can't shoot yep. over forests and towns and stuff. Yep, and ridge um, lights, and combat is mandatory. Yes, against right. you adjacent to. Mm. There are some interesting rules around cavalry. Are we going to um, include combined arms benefit? Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. Throwing up in the morning. Yep, we can do that. Um, I want a clarification. Combined arms, is it any two different arms? Or yeah, is it all no, three? it's infantry. Um, it's got to be infantry, artillery, and cavalry. Right. All three, yeah. yep. 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 I'm doubling across bridges and streams. Yeah. Doubling um, in, in towns, yep. tripled in plateau. Yep. yep. Rose and chateau, you, if you're in the chateau, you're not required to attack an adjacent That's unit. Right. That's and right. do you ignore retreats in the chateau? Yes. Yes. Only DEs and EX. Uh, uh, I'm not sure about that. Only uh, DEs count, but we can have a look at the have a look at the charts there. Well, I think yeah, yeah you can only ignore retreats. I think from memory. I must admit, in the 70s, I loved the promise of this game. <laughs> That's all we got, the promise. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Having said oh, that, though... In, so what, um, was it da what was it, David? This or girls? <laughs> they, both, they both promised an awful lot. It was, it was line ball there for a while. <laughs> Did they deliver? Um, I, think, I think if you're going to um, do the cavalry... If you're going to do that, I think cavalry can retreat before combat or retreat. Yes. I think they can retreat two hexes for combat. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's two. Right. But it's certainly they can retreat. No, I think it's two. Okay. Or it's okay. one or two, I think. Um, and you can advance after combat when they do. What I'll do is I do have the rules handy and I will find... Them. I've got the rules handy, but they don't mention any of the command control aspects. That's in the There's, second... It's in the second, second rules section. There's a sort of like a campaign rules section. Oh, Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, look, like... this was a good choice. I wouldn't want to play this for ages. Hmm. I reckon it's a 
Oh, look, I look. My I have extraordinary fond memories of this game, and I knew that it was stupid and wrong and had bad. Oh, I, I'm sorry, we've got to monitor tomorrow. Oh, there's coming. Yeah, I, I, my this is my first attempt at game modification. I um, was fascinated by how the different armies were able to coordinate their actions in the campaign, yeah. and so I made up little counters for messengers. Oh, <laughs> that's very, that's very advanced. That's, I'm impressed. All right, we have ourselves a game. Right, let's go. So, this, well, this is where I just put my feet back up on the desk for the next half hour and, and wait <laughs> for Nick to advance. I'm just looking for the um, the hex rangers. So um, in this, is leader command only for, here we go, is it only for combat or is it for movement as well? I think it's... Actually, it's... zona controls are hard. They're not sticky. Uh, What's sorry, the difference? Yes, you're right. Sorry. I... Once you're in, you're in. Yep. I don't know yeah, why that's we right. them sticky. No, I always thought... We, we I think we both meant hard, but... We yeah. them... <laughs> are they easy? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Uh, I'm just looking for the range. <laughs> yeah, and, um... Have displacement if you can't retreat because of stacking restrictions. It, it, it was these sort of questions that made me prefer girls. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, yes, just recap the commander rules again. It's important. All right, hold on. I'm just, I'm just on. trying to find them. Uh, Command integrity, there are three armies in the game, the Prussians, the French, uh, and the other guys. Um, tracing command, the oh. range of hexes oh, described yeah. for command is traced through the hex grid from the commanding leader, leader's hex to the hex occupied by the officer or combat <laughs> unit being commanded. Mm -hmm. Inclusive, command may never be traced into or through prohibited train, an enemy occupied hex, or an enemy controlled hex which is not occupied by an enemy, a friendly unit. Command effects. Um, units and officers which are in command function normally for all purposes. Units and officers which are out of command have the following restrictions. Um, they may not attack, nor may they enter enemy zone controlled hexes. They may continue to move and defend in a normal manner. If at the beginning of a friendly combat phase, a friendly unit which is out of command is in an enemy controlled hex, either all the friendly units must be retreated in combat so that no enemy zone of control is in the hex which contains the out of command unit, or the out of command unit must retreat according to the rules of retreat after combat. The retreat is taken, undertaken after all combat is resolved and does not allow an optional advance. Um, I'm not sure what I said then. No, but we'll work it out. Yeah, yeah it, but I, what's, what's it the basically range? basically means that if you're in a Zoc, oh. yep. you're stuck, but you got to get out. out of command, you can't attack, so therefore you have to do a retreat. A okay, first retreat. for the range. A unit is said to be in command if he's within oh, five hexes, hexes of a hexes com hexes. commander. Yep. It's or five and five. if it is within three hexes of an officer of its formation who is in turn right. in command. Yeah, okay, so five and, and the three. the officer has to be within five hexes. Yep. All right, so there aren't... Uh, yeah, okay, so knight is... How many turns to knight? One, two, three, four, five, six, oh, looks like seven. Yeah. You don't need to know them. We won't get there. Um, okay. Does horse yeah. artillery function any way different? No. Okay. Just faster. Yep. All right. French turn. Oh. Mm. Don't really know what I'm doing now. Oh, what's the sequence of play? When does it, does it go move, bombard, combat? Is that how it works? It's um, just move and combat, I think. When do you bombard then? It's bombard just is combat. combat. Part of combat. Right, yeah. okay, you don't. It's do a it reorganization so. thing, too. Yeah. Is that, yeah. Is that at night time? And that so takes a place at night time. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh... All right, so. Yeah. 
All right, let's see what I can do. Oh, there's a lot of funny green looking people here. No, it's one game turn. What? Hey. Reorganisation. Mm -hmm. What do you mean it's one game turn? What happens is a f if a full strength unit gets elim eliminated, it gets put into the reorganisation box. Yes. Uh, yeah, but, but it can't be reorganised until... But it's not reorganised until night, though, is it? No. It, says it stays in the reorganisation box for a one game turn. Oh. oh. Okay. That's not how I remember it. No. It's available for, for reorganisation during any subsequent friendly reorganisation phase. Yeah, that... subsequent reorganisation phase. And aren't they only at night time? Uh... Maybe that's um, um No, it's after each game turn. Oh, okay. Hmm. You change that for his uh, later rules. Alright, let's see if I can work out what I'm doing, because I don't really have much clue what I'm gonna do. Oh, I don't even know who my offices are. Where are all my offices? Oh, there's them down. Actually the Prussians got a very good chance of enveloping with the French on the first day. Yes, you keep thinking like that. All oh, right, off you go. <laughs> Actually, I have seen that done. Someone's attacked the right-hand <laughs> flank of the, of the French army and yeah. by an enormous miracle. <laughs> done a sterling job of fucking everything up, so... Oh, um... Officers are the ones with square brackets and the others are... Um, just have a number for their core. Yep. That's right. Yep. No, commanders, square brackets, officers don't. All right, cool. Yep. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just looking at um, not sure what to do. <laughs> so, hold on. Bill, you're moving as well at the same time, aren't you? Yep. Yep. Cool. So, crest has no effect on combat. You just can't bomb particles. What was Oh, it's a line of sight thing, isn't it? Who am yeah. I playing? Who, sorry, who's who's playing Napoleon? Me. Ah, good. I, um, I, don't, I don't actually have a clue what I'm doing. <laughs> well, okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move. I'm going to move first core up the road. Oh, should we first of all work out what's um, oh. in and out of command uh, and put? Do they have markers for those? No. Actually, no. one key. So question. I, I think you'll find that pretty well everything should be in command. No, what's there, not? Because be, ha have be, a look. Have a look, um, for example, my one where Van Dam is. Yeah. He's only three hexes, and he's got a couple of things that are out. So. He's a fucking lord. And part of the guards out. Oh, but then again, they can move. It's just like, yeah, they can move. It's just that they can't enter a zone of control. Um, guys, is there a Napoleon stomach rule? No. Right. Okay. <laughs> no. Is it no weather, no mud? Right. I'm just looking, not quite sure what I'm going to do. There's so many options. What's movement on the road? Half. Right. Oh, that's right. Remember bridges. You can only cross rivers at bridges. Uh, really no, important. you can do. You can do it at. Um, these oh. aren't rivers. They're streams. So, oh, they are two, sorry. Yep, two additional yeah. to cross, that's all. Uh, it's that, um, it's not till you get to, or, yeah, the dial. Yeah. That's oh, right. the beautiful beginning of my continuous front. <laughs> the river, river dial figures prominently in rather a lot of <laughs> military campaigns, doesn't it? Hmm. No, we're playing a, a UK Sims scanned map. Oh, is this a UK? S yeah. How do you know this? Oh, is it? Oh, it's printed on the map. See it. Printed in Great Britain. Hey, yeah. I must admit, I've been really intrigued by Phil Nossett's quest for SBI titles published in Italian, Dutch, yeah, Polish. Yeah. Like, it's, it's absurd. Um, I had no idea. Uh, I don't know if you guys, uh, David, you put me on to the um, the uh, Jutland thing for uh, um, 
was it you that put me on to Jutland? James Dunnigan talking about Jutland? Yes. Yep. Well, it turns out, if you Google that, there's a whole sequence of talks. And it's yes. not, not about war games as such. It's actually about world politics and world um, yep. military. And no. it is very interesting. It is. Um, I disagree I'll... with a lot of what... Um, oh, well, of course. <laughs> But the thing is that I think actually I, I probably I, I I rather agree usually more with Dunnigan's assessment than the other guy hmm. who keeps making sort of like well basically saying Trump's doing the right thing. Yeah, well, one's in, everything. And one's from Austin and yeah. one's from New York. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So one owns guns and the other one doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. The the, the divide mm. is quite. Striking, but, but yes, Dun um, Dunnigan's the, a lot more politic about where he stands on things. But the interesting stuff was all about China. The one that I listened to hmm. about China is really interesting because he sounded a bit like Berg. Hey, he sounded a bit like Berg. It does sound a bit like Berg. Or my memory. About this lispy thing happening. Yeah, well, the guy's got to be in his what eighties by now. No, no, I think he's Dunnigan. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's in his early eighties. No, he's 70s. No, no, he's in his early 80s. No, he's been in his 70s he was, for, for about 15 we're years. Have, we're going to have money on this. <laughs> he, was in, he was in his 30s. He 77. Was in, oh, okay. Really? He was in his, I thought he was okay. in his 30s in the late 60s. So. He's just looked yeah. old for ages. But, um, yeah, that military symposium thing in New York, Al Noffy is, um, goes to virtually every single one. Yeah, well, that was the group that um, Brandon Musler used to go, mm. he used to go every every thursday to right well, because he's got a and and he's presented there on various yeah. occasions because he's he's a huge naval war fan um so he's um, he's he's the one that's basically deconstructing and reconstructing all of um uh what's his name's naval games what's his name um uh pratt no the fletcher um, pratt no green, green um Oh, the, Av the Avalon Hill guy? No. Uh, oh, God. This is... Hold on. I'll find out. The harpoon stuff? No, no. hold on. <laughs> oh, need to know. Loki is 76. So they're all the same age. So yeah, it's that's not, not surprising. I can't remember his name. Quarterdeck Games. What's him? Um, Jack Green. Oh, Jack, Jack Green. Green. Yeah. So Jack He's 70. Green. Yeah, Jack Green's got a new, yeah. game, new game coming out hmm. and, um, and um, Brandon's been you know sort of like trying to stop him from doing certain things and do do other things but he's having marginal success yeah oh, I, I quite like Jack I do too I do very but, much. Uh, but um, and the politics fact, of Carolina are just horrible um, young young Brandon got me to do um, a vassal model module for Jack Jack's game Royal Navy. Oh, and so I did that, and yeah. and and then and then because you know there are a whole lot of games that run around using the same rules and everything. Yep. Um, Brandon made me rope it into into that, so I did that. So there's Destroyer and some other <laughs> things. So it's like, but I I did all that, and we um, and um, Brandon offered it to um, Jack as like. You know, is this okay if we we, you know, yeah, release this? And Jack said, "Great, it's fantastic. Um, give me a copy." And and Brandon said he has no idea. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's it's just like you know, he just you know, it's a computer thing, so he's got no idea. Yeah. But um, I, in making this, I got to I got to learn a little bit about the game, and gee, it's complex and beautiful at the same time. It's um. The charts just dealing with penetration of types of shells and allowing for angles mm -hmm. and stuff into. But um, Brandon assures me it plays beautifully, so. Right. He's got me on a promise that at some stage he and I will play it. I can retreat across streams, can't I? Yes. Yep. Yep. Good.
Do you know uh, how we came up with this thing that what we really needed is some sort of tool that allowed us to circle a combat and say, there's, look at this unit? Yeah. Um, I went and had a look. Eventually, I, I remembered that I was going to do something about that, and I went and had a look at the um, vassal log to see if there, anyone had actually ever thought of this. And, of course, what do I find is hundreds of requests for exactly this. Mm. And the response from almost any developer involved in it is, make a marker with an arrow on it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think... It is a beautiful map, isn't it? It is just what? a beautiful map. Last Battles? Yeah. Um, look, for its I like time? It. I like Absolutely. It I, like yeah. it for, I like the simplicity of it, I think. It's a, it's, I think it's fairly un, unambiguous. I know I took it when I did a tour of the battlefield, I did take a copy of this map. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, oh, absolutely. Map. No, um, I'm really annoyed you didn't ask me to come with you. <laughs> <laughs> Creep. <laughs> Creep. <laughs> I've been to Europe so many times. Do you think I've ever been to Waterloo? Oh, I've, I've been. I've been. I've been to Kursk. I've been to Kharkov. Yep. I've been to St. Petersburg. I've been to. I've been to Casino. I've been to Normandy, um, yep. but I have never been to. I've never been, I've been, never been to um, uh, the Ardennes. Should we call you Bill Charlene? I've never been to uh, the Ardennes, and I've never been to Waterloo. I've been to uh, Waterloo three times. Three. Oh god. I got a yeah. tour last time we went there with this English guy who took us on all these farm pass uh, tracks, which you weren't meant to go on, but mm. he just said, "No, it's okay." <laughs> the thing that I didn't realise until I went that time was that Hugomont is actually in a depression. It's actually yes, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know why I'd know that, but yes, I know it's low. It's very low. Yeah. Is the orchard still there? Uh, no. Not really. um, there's only two. If you follow Tony Pollard. He's in a, a battlefield he's archaeology. Tall, yeah. Um, if you follow his YouTube channel for Waterloo Uncovered, he does a detailed examination of Hugomont. Yeah. It's all on YouTube. And of the trees that existed during the Battle of Waterloo, there's only two large boundary trees on the boundary of Hugomont which still exist. But, are they um, the trees from the time or are they just trees? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Wow. But um, the wall at Hugomont has been built, rebuilt several times, largely due to the needs of battlefield tourism, which started like three days after the battle. Yeah, yeah. But um, the the excavation of the killing zone between the wall at Hugomont and the edge of the orchard is fascinating. Um, you know, they did a. I don't know if you've seen or watched. Um, uh, the uh, Custer's Last Stand, no. the battle. The, well, if you, if you, if you, again, you can find is it on YouTube. Battlefield Detectives? Uh, oh, no, this is much older. Oh. This is in the early 90s okay. where they mapped every single arrowhead, every single oh bullet. Yeah, it's only I'm the Americans pretty sure I've seen it. I thought that was Battlefield Detectives. Oh, it, it might have been picked up. They did a whole series. Later. It was pretty cool. Yeah. Well, that's what um, they've done at Hugomont. Every single artifact's been mapped to identify the killing zones and then to make an estimate of how many casualties the French incurred in their assaults and where the key points of the assaults were and then collated those that the archaeology back to the verbal recollection. And um, it tells, tells a great story. What was so impressive about um, Custer's Last Stand is... So, the, the archaeology told so much, such a richer story than the the verbal accounts. I think wasn't that, that the one where they just 
they finished in a different spot to where they thought they had. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. But and the successive waves of the fighting retreat that that happened, yeah. and and as, as well as the last stand. Um, can we do the Quattro Barrera attacks? Yes, we can. Um, we've probably sort of thought about that before, but now that Nick has by and large largely finished his movement, isn't Bill? Uh, Bill's finished his movement. Yeah. Uh, so, because I've got a huge army to deal with. Exactly. There's a lot of guys coming on very soon. Smash that red line. All right. Okay. That's why I picked nay. I don't want to do hard work. I just want to sit and talk to you guys. All right. Okay. I've got a. Who? Who's? Who's? Who's Wellington? Oh, I am. Daniel. Daniel. Oh, Daniel, my man. No, I'm choking on it. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I've got five plus five plus five. So that's fifteen. Uh, to four, which is not quite. Ideal. Three to one. Three to one. He had, he had a defender retreat, probably. Uh, I don't know. I've I've got the I've got the chart from hell here. So it's yeah, it, 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 it is, is a big it, it, chart. It is, is too big, isn't it? Uh, it is. No, it's so on the map. Said that. It's not that hard. It's on the map. Anything but a six is, it, is a is retreat. Oh, yeah, it's any, anything but a six, which is a retreat. It is. Thank you. Yeah. Right. So one. Retreat. Well, I haven't got a lot of choice where to go. No. Yep. <laughs> Are you going to advance? Yep. And then I've got another one here, which is um, 10 plus 15 plus 6. So that's uh, uh, 3 to 1, 4, four to, to one. 1. And then because I've got combined arms, I'm making it 5 to 1. Throwing artillery. Yeah, I've got yeah. artillery. Yeah. Where? There. Underneath the seven four. Yep. Ah, right. I'll I'll just pop it on the top. Can I put yep. it on the top? Yep. There we go. Oh, can you shoot through your own people? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. We don't care yep. about them. <laughs> oh, it's been ages rearranging for that. Oh, didn't have to do so. Um, okay. Oh, so what did I say? Old. Fifteen twenty one to four to, one. four to one, five to one for the um. Is it, is it a shift up or a plus one? No, it's, it's a. a um, it's a shift. It's a shift, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, that gives me two exchanges. I'm not sure if I like that. Uh, I'll be happy to go with four to one. I'll just leave it at four to one. Are you allowed to... Um, you're think, not allowed to drop odds? I think I am. I'm, Are you? Yeah. Or I think you're allowed to make a call on who's participating in the attack. Yes, you can. But do I don't it. think you can drop ads, odds. No. Oh, it's a different thing. I, I, I think you can. Hold on. But most of those games said you couldn't. Combat, combat, combat. You can leave the artillery out. That'll get you three to one. Or what do you want? I want four to one. You get, you definitely get three to one, no problem. Yeah, I got three to one, but I want four to one. Well, you well, can't. If you, if you throw that in, it's combined attack, and you go up my odds. You can't reduce your odds. I'm positive on it. Just take Aren't you, aren't you, aren't you attacking with the? Aren't you attacking with the five, the six, and the four? Yeah, there's an artillery. Yeah, so that's eleven, fifteen, and the artillery makes twenty-one, which is four to one, and shift makes five to one, doesn't it? Yeah. Yep. But I don't want to be five to one. Oh, you don't want to be five to one. Too bad. Wrong. No, you may as well. You get an exchange. That's fine. Uh, Killing's right. good. Five to one. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and you would have got it still at four to one anyway. <laughs> anyway. All right. So that's going to be sent to eliminated, and that one's yeah, going to be sent to eliminated. You break a hole. Where's the line line is, there an eliminate, is there an eliminated box? Yeah, there is. It's Where? A, a limb. Oh, up You're there. Good. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm in there already. Yep, you are. <laughs> and you can advance? I did. He's done. Did you? Yep. All right. Will I do mine? Meanwhile, so you... over on the right, right. flank. Right. Yep. Napoleon. Okay, so starting on the left-hand side, I've got Dufour and 
Gengu. So that oh. oh, wait a minute. Where are we? Oh, Sorry. That's right. Um, oh, so, oh, so, okay. I've got so I've got eleven. Um, and Kenny's twenty-one, and you're in a town, so that's one to one. Uh, yep, I'm eight. Yep, ten. Oh, back we go. Uh, all right, next one. Uh, nine plus the artillery is fourteen, and you want eight. Oh, so oh, this doesn't help you. I don't need the artillery there. They won't do that. So the nine. One to one? Will be another one to one. Yep. Two. You can retreat. Yeah, can you? Um, how did. So that artillery can now bombard just like a normal attack, can't you? Which one? The, uh, Sorry, the, the, the fourth four. core artillery. Altus, yeah. He can just... So yeah, he could there's, attack. there's no point. I mean, what do you do? You Make can, him retreat. Yeah, but... And then what? He gets to know, move back in. <laughs> yeah, it just annoys him. Yeah. I didn't anyway. Um, all right. Moving further across, yep. we've got fourth core. So we've got five... Uh, and eight. eight. I forgot my cavalry. Three to one. Uh, no, I'm in a town. I'm in a town which is eight. One to one. Um, oh, I've stuffed that up. I thought it was in the wrong spot. Mm, oh. I moved my cavalry into the wrong spot. Use the artillery. Doesn't, yeah, it doesn't help. Me. doesn't get. Oh, actually, oh, doesn't matter. I was six million. Uh, all right, so attack the other one. Uh, two. Yep, I'm just in the clear. Was Are this you your clear, plan all along? Yeah. Well, long, David. You just wanted to well, play this game. Eight. No, but, but I, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tough 20. game for the French. One to one again. Two, you retreat. Yay. Is that your turn, Nick? It is. I missed up most of that, but anyway, okay. Yeah. All good. All right. Um, well, I'll start movement. As um, boom, 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 boom. That was interesting. We can't move simultaneously. We can't? No. All right, do you oh, want to move? Observers. All right, do you want to move first, Nick? Uh, sorry, Daniel? Because mm, you're going to be quick. Move up your reinforcements. Yeah. Are you sure you can't move simultaneously? No, yeah. because it moved Bill them. I did. Bill and I did. Yeah, I'll move them up on. Try again. It might have All right, I'll, I'll get it again. Glitch. It might have just been a temporary glitch. Yeah, but Daniel, sing out if you got a problem. Yeah. Yeah, it, the, the map, map just jumps all over the place. That's funny. Yeah, it does. It didn't, what do you Maybe you're just lucky. I... Yeah. 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 All right, I'll let, I'll, I'll let you move, Daniel, and then I'll move. I haven't got a lot to move here. <laughs> what are your reinforcements? Come on. This is turn one. What are your turn? You get some next to. Oh, you get, you get a general next turn. That's useful. No, no troops, but general. I'm done. Okay, good. Actually, I'll just move in back. Now done? Uh, yep.
Do I have to be in command radius to move or only for combat? Only for combat. Right. And advance after retreat, I think. Yep. There's no rules about me having to defend Ligny for a certain no. amount of time. No, no. I don't think so. No, not, right. not in the campaign game. Yeah, okay. You're, you're there to um, uh, basically, you know, essentially defeat the French army. Oh, yeah. fuck that. That's the job. <laughs> sitting waiting for you. You've got more people than us. No, I'm not going to do that. While the, while the Allied... Allied forces over on your your uh, right form up. Just looking at a catalogue from the nineteen seventy six period. Yeah. If you ordered three hundred dollars, I guess it's US. You got thirty percent discount. That's a lot of money, three hundred dollars. So no, you could order. It's oh. like 20 buck down rhymes or something, isn't it? I'm just looking to see how much they are. Buck down rhyme was 20 bucks. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> that's, a lot of, that's a lot of big games. Well, well, that, actually, if you think about it, in 1976 standards, that would have been... I mean, I, I was working I in 1979, to... and it, my salary was about $190 a week. So you have to spend a couple of weeks' salaries there. Yeah. Mm. War on the Pacific was 30 Jesus, I would have bought 10 of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. War in Europe was 40 and Buck Dom Rhyme was 20, so there's 90 bucks. You need three copies of each. Well, when I first started, first started buying more games from SPI, they cost $6. Yeah, I remember that. That's Australian. Yeah, yeah. But then the Australian dollar was about $1.20 to the US rate. Ah, yes, yeah, that's before it floated. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Because we were tied to the English pound at that stage. Yeah, those are the days. I used to love getting the uh, Mel Sims catalogues with the uh, little blurb about what each game did and how it yeah. worked. And it was like, a, I think now I realise, I think most of those were just taken from the SBI catalogue, the blurbs. But uh, I used to love those. They had the Avalon Hill stuff in there as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The first one I got was a, I think it was only four sides might have been six sides cardboard blue dark blue cover would have been 73. <laughs> i remember getting um rise and fall of the third rise and decline of the third reich for my 12th birthday in 79. the jenko game oh. very excited <laughs> no the, the prados uh, the yeah, the yeah. Yeah, yeah. i did not have a clue it was the biggest one <laughs> i don't know i know but in 1979 it was the game. Yeah, it was it absolutely game. was. And I, I didn't know how to play it, and I didn't play it for five years until my neighbour taught me how to play it. Yeah, so. yeah for a while there, I, I didn't know burp was anything else. No. <laughs> 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 I didn't understand how any of the economics worked at all until he showed me. Oh, no. Couldn't follow it. You had to get to about the third edition for a Prados game to get any sense out of it. Yeah, I think uh, I got second edition for... Um, my birthday. A great designer and editor developer. Yeah, he's um yeah, he needs a bit of work often. Most of his stuff needs a bit of work. Who's maybe um, uh, 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 yeah. David is yeah. What was the Pacific War one he did? That had to have a second edition. Pearl Harbor. Uh, Pearl Harbor, yeah. yeah. That was a disaster, wasn't it? Um, it's it's not an easy game. And I really I really liked it, but it was just not it just, it was, yeah. He does interesting stuff. He does great, really did, clever did stuff. The, yeah. um, um, Beyond Waterloo, is that his? Yeah, yeah, ATO. He's done quite a few games with ATO. He's yeah. um, K-San game uh, with, and also very similar to the rules he has for his, um, the Berlin game with the ATO magazine. They look really good. 
but again, a bit messy. He wouldn't be. He wouldn't be a young man either. No, he's he did late seventies. He's a bit of a conspiracy nut too. He's written quite a lot of books on. Uh, oh, no, he's only sixty-nine. Is he really? Yeah. Oh, he's written quite a few books on uh, Vietnam and CIA and things like that. Yeah, he he worked for some think tank attached yeah. to the Pentagon. Okay, uh, so so in 1976, two Australian dollars equaled one one and a half American dollars in 1976. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So what we're saying is SBI pricing of games was the problem, not the exchange rate. Hmm. Wow. Well, it would have been it would have been. Um, it probably wasn't paying much in Australia. You you couldn't buy SPI games in boxes or anything. They came as shrink wrap. Yeah. So uh, you know. And that was to save postage costs. And yeah, they're costs. always in those. You get flat packs, though. Yeah, they're always in the plastic flat, flat pack trays. I don't think I saw an SPI box. No. No, oh, no. It's, it's, it's all so rare here. It was yeah. very, very rare until the 80s before I saw them. When, it, when, it, when they brought out the soap box editions, you could get them, but that was already later 70s. Yep. Yeah, I remember seeing... Um, Next wall was the first one I ever saw a soapbox, and it was so big and so expensive, and looked so complex. I just went, I can't play that. Well, the first big soapbox I ever bought was Atlantic Wall, and I was just like, I was just so beside myself with joy yeah. at this. I've got it at Atlantic Wall somewhere, soapbox. I might have got. I think mine was out of siege. Yeah, I've got two of those. I don't know why I've got two of those. It's ridiculous. I've never played that. It always looks really nice. Yeah, I take it Bluka is is dropping his decks and running. Yeah, I was going to say Bluka's bugging yeah, me. Yeah, pretty much. Just sacrificing a few brigades because they can't get out of the zone of control. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but they don't sacrifice because when they attack, they'll attack at low odds, get attack retreats, and away they go. Do I get to advance? Only attackers get to advance. Defenders no, no, advance you, to... uh, it's a vacated hex advances. The yep. winner always. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's good. Um, all right, guys, I think right, so what we are uh, yeah, attacking. So we'll, we'll start off on the extreme right. Okay. Um, I have uh, yeah, six, ten, six against that four. Wait, uh, you, that was an open hit. So, oh, yeah, it was two. Yeah, right, one, one, one to one. Um, right, six. Two, three. Excellent. You don't have to advance. I would be surprised if you did. No, I don't need to advance there. Um, all right. That 5-4 is... He's doubled. Doubled? Is he doubled again? Yeah, so he's tripled. So it's 8 to 15. That's 1 to 2. Yes, plus artillery. Oh, oh wow. That's a big artillery piece. <laughs> yes. Can I, can I add as many artillery as are in range, can't I? Yes. yes. So you're 8, 17, 20. The only thing you've got to have is a line of sight. Yeah, I got a line of sight. So twenty to so it's one to one. One to one. So you retreat again. Back off. Back off. That's what Big you want boy. to. Not necessarily. But welcome to my killing zone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, turn two. Uh, anything along the Cotra Bar front? No, they ran away. They got two units. <laughs> yeah. got, got two units and many generals. Many, many generals. <laughs> My generals have two units. All right. Let's go again. I'll work out who's not going to be in range. All right. I'm going to get a beer, gents. Right. I've yep. moved every... That's interesting. The Press Dag's Master Pack 
listed, you can get it in boxed or Z pack. I've never seen a box version. That's Dave. Oh, now you have to get that. No, you go, Daniel. Uh, you go, have you never finger. seen one? You, you found, you can you found the target. Daniel, can you show me the um, the catalogue? Hold on, wait a minute. I've just got to show my camera. Sorry, yeah, can you show me the catalogue? Oh, okay, no, it's not It's not one of those. Um, they had a green catalogue, which was like, you know the ads that they always had in moves and... Yeah, yeah, that was earlier. Yeah. It's got this page in it. I swear to God, I carried that thing around with me for years. I loved it that, so much. That sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That were the earlier ones. They used to have pages of those because they'd never seen any games. And they'd have, you know, the man and they'd have yeah. on D-Low and that sort of stuff. Half page each. That's right. But it described very briefly the game and, you know, all the cool stuff in it. You know, like, you know. Yeah. yeah. It's the man. We've got Stoss Truppen and... <laughs> <laughs> Full artillery rules and supply counters and Just saying, I forgot one. Gee, it's lovely and quiet when David's not here, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I just spent four hours burying the cat. <laughs> uh, yeah, I saw um, Ridley Scott's The Duelists again, I think, oh, on What a terrific Friday night. little film. What a terrific. All I am intrigued by is just the change in the uniforms and that little rat's tail. That... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's quite a beautiful it's a, film, it is a film to watch. Film. It's his first film, I think. It was his first proper film. Uh, second film. Ah, what was the first one? The Bicyclist. Ah. Oh. He was 17. <laughs> okay. I don't know that that counts. But... There you go. <laughs> I think this is the first one he had with a budget. Yeah, this was the um, first one he did as, like, he decided he wanted to be a professional mil filmmaker instead of making ads. But, yes, a very skinny budget. Yeah. And uh, I think it was 1977. Yeah. And he, had, he actually had a, a good paying actor. As, who was it? Oh, Harvey Cartel. Oh, Harvey Cartel. Uh, was, the, was the sicko. And Carradine was the, the blonde giant. Yeah. Um, but I'm just thinking, when did Barry Lyndon get made? Oh, that was in the mid-70s. Yeah. Yes. You know, Kubrick's Barry Lyndon. Yeah. Big budget. Yeah. Oh, that was, um, that was a horrible film. Uh, oh, you know, the, the I, uniforms I, were good. No, no, <laughs> yeah, that's about it. I, 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 no, I don't. It's a, it's an ex, it's exactly a Kubrick film. That's that's the thing. I think. There you go. Yeah. Remember that? Oh, I remember those. Never waffles. Ne oh, oh. I've got some of that. I don't <laughs> smoke. No, so thank you. I've given them up. <laughs> I've got the magnets. <laughs> Um, are you done, Nick? No. Okay, that's fine. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Are we moving? Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, wait, you can... I'll, I'll wait until you finish, Nick, and then I'll just smile. That's fine. Yeah, there's some grim... I'm about to take casualties. Damn it. I had to hold that river. Nick, we're at the stage where I'm going to have to ask you, do you want Durloin? Durloin. Do you want his core? I want his name, Durloin. 
Delon. <laughs> yes, I do want Delon to attack. Don't make him run around in the gap because the Prussian army is the one we have to destroy. All right, well, you've got control of it then. Right. I don't understand. So I'm a bit confused now. So Delon is an officer. But he can't attack oh, him until he no, gets in he range of the commander. He needs, in order for him to attack, he needs um, uh, a commander to... In range of Napoleon. Yeah. yeah. That's right. I just wanted to confirm. So this is a really good thing about Napoleon, is he, while he can attack with three core, he can activate three core, he can also activate a whole cavalry core, because the cavalry core is only three units. So... Right. Yeah. So in my revised game, um, uh, Napoleon would have had to send an instruction to Ney. Ney would then have to send, you know, move a unit to Ney. Ney would then have to move a unit to do it all alone, and then the unit back to Napoleon, acknowledging you were the order. a nice, simple game by adding complications, weren't you? Uh, uh, yep, this is how I win. <laughs> Well, <laughs> you know, this, you this, is, this is our problem with David. It was either a choice between this game or girls, and he chose this game. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I've got that correct, haven't I, David? It's, um... I, I can neither confirm or deny. You may well think that. <laughs> <sighs> Bugger. You go, Bill. Hang on. Borodino? Borodino. Love that game. So much fun. Uh, what's I that? you're I a French think... player and you're attacking the Chevraski oh. uh, Redoubt, in which case yeah. it's not so much fun anymore. Yeah. I didn't, didn't mind the, the republication of that using Dupree's combat model. That appeared in SMT again and then early noughties. Okay. Yeah. I don't know it. Yeah, I think I actually moved everybody. I absolutely loved, because I only played it, I think, well, once, but I absolutely loved Battle de la Moscow. Ah, yeah. now, uh, funny you should, funny you should mention that. Anymore, no? I've just bought first edition. First like edition, the Marshall what? Marshall Enterprise. Yeah, for like, like fifteen bucks. <gasps> what? That's not as nice as the new one, though. Fifteen Australian or? Oh. No. Okay, fine. Plus shipping or including shipping. Uh, who did you Who did you mug for that? Some little old lady off the streets of Texas or something? Oh, it was on eBay. I just said, oh, well, no one was buying was was bidding for it because there's like three other versions of it. Or yeah. each one more yeah. complex than the last. But it's the Marshall Enterprises first version, first edition. I'll check just to make sure I'm not being stupid. Alright. Um I'm yes. done. I'll go, Bill. Okay. Because what happened I I I had I had the GDW I think GDW first edition. Yeah, I've got that, the green one. Yeah. No, 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 the the um the one that came oh, in. Oh, hang on, no, sorry. It's it's the it's that one with the book, little booklets. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's not Marshall Enterprises, but it's really no, good. That's the best that's GDW. Thirteen dollars it cost me US. Oh my god, Daniel. Where'd you get that from? You. eBay. The shipping was more than the game. Yeah. Is that eBay? Because uh. I actually found that that was quite playable, whereas the new ones fairly. Yeah. Oh, it's a bit oh. over. What's annoying is um, some a friend of mine convinced me it'd be a good idea to buy the Labatt games, um, <laughs> and that's just such a mistake because they're big and they're expensive and complex, and now I have quite a few of them. Yeah, they are. They're very pretty though. So, uh, I've got the I've got all the editions of the Moscow except for the Marshall one. Oh, okay. Mm, three, four. I've got um, yeah, I've got about. Half of the Labatt series, I think. I've got about eight or ten games. Um, the the last couple I bought were the the ones where they the the, the recent ones. Oh, with the CDs. Yeah, I got Vagram. Thank you. I got Vagram, and but it's it was not the like whole panel. Two hundred bucks. It's not the whole. It's not the whole. 
battlefield. Oh, I've no idea. <laughs> I haven't even opened it. <laughs> and, and also, the other annoying thing is it comes in a white box, doesn't it? Know, That's why I like getting the Clash of Arms ones. The Clash of Arms ones are really nice boxes. But, um, but the, um, yeah, the, the ME ones are a bit crappy. But the problem is that the ME one, uh, the ME does all the interesting battles, and Clash of Arms generally tends to do the pissy battles. So. Yeah. Uh, guys, talking about acquisition of games, I noticed something a bit strange this morning. Uh, with well, you should ME... see a doctor about it, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> MMP's Rostov 41, I the SCS that. game. Yep. Yep. Looks really good. It's gone uh, on MMP, MMP's site. It's not there. No, that's no, because no, they, they closed them off. They're, they're yeah. all, they sold out, are they? Or? No, no, they, no, they sold all of it, all of it. No, no. Them out. no, no. They're in there. They're changing from pre-order to full price, and there's always a gap of a couple of weeks when that happens. Really? Yeah. And that yeah. makes it look like they're out of stock. But they're, makes not. It look right. like they're not. They're not. Okay. No. I um, I bought one on pre-order um, oh. because uh, and be but it was one of those ridiculous ones. If you buy more than one, the shipping went up by. More rather than less. Less. So, uh, yeah, it was no point in buying more than one game. No. Quite a few, um, quite a few people do that. M M P does. Um, N W S does sometimes. I'm ready. All right, combat. You might as well do yours while you're up there. Okay. All right. Four to one. Whoa, bang. Four. Which is um, defender retreat. Retreat. Is that my artillery unit? Yep. I'm amazed he survived. Well, it's it's very hard to attack at high odds because you're going to get an exchange and you don't want to lose a four-fold one. Yeah. Um, five plus five plus seven, and the artillery can't fire because it's the ridge protects you. Yeah. Um, I'm sure you'll be delighted to know. You now, should move the artillery up. Hey. Sure oh, I, did, I just didn't have enough movement points. Oh. Um, uh, 15, 22 to 4 is oh, okay. 5 to 1. Who we get a kill? 4. Oh, dear. Dear. You've taken quarter of a Oh, no, no. You're about to take quarter of a All right, I'll do my ones. Um, okay. All right. I am done. Starting bottom right, the first cavalry horse artillery is going to shoot at one to about a trillion. Uh, one bottom, degree. bottom extreme right. Yep. One to yep. Six. Actually, do do is this just clarification here? Um, do all enemy units in your zones of control have to be attacked? Yes. Or. or do all units in enemy zones of control have to attack? All units in enemy all zones of control have to be have attacked. To be attacked. So this right. is a soak off. Yep. Yep. So, so you have six. That's a nothing. Yep. Um, all right. So now everyone else will attack those guys at nine, 13, 17, 21. Um, what did Woods do? I think they reduced my cavalry. They, um, they're uh, doubled, I believe. No, cavalry strength's oh. halved, and that's all. Okay. So, uh, 9... You don't have to be trade either. 13, no, yeah. 17, 19 to 4 is... Oh, 19. No, you want an exchange? 13, so 19 to 4, 4 to 1, and combined arms 5 to 1. Yep. Oh, that's way too many options for exchange. Oh, I didn't do it, though. 3, defender retreat. He's gone. Yep. Your artillery couldn't have fired. Why not? Because it's can't see over the village. Is there a village there? Oh, there is two. Oh, my. No. Oh, we've moved up. Oh. Still, same right. thing. Sorry. Quarter one, I, defend a retreat. It's still a retreat. Yeah. Yeah. Much as I don't no, like to, to give, the, uh, give a point to the um, the Prussians. I th uh, that's fine. Uh, that's right. uh, the uh, Prussians up there, I think it's a village, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. So you're... Uh, Five doubles, ten, ten, and I'm nine. So that's one to two. 
six. Okay, take it through. There's a slight bit of clenching for a minute there. One to two of the six. Um, all right, in the center, the guard artillery. Yep. There's 12. 16 of them. And they'll shoot at the six straight across. So that is two to one. Five. Well, that's a bit crap. That's nothing. Um, that's nothing very good. All right. The five in the middle against your nine artillery. There's a soak off. One to two. Nothing. The five against the three and the six. Well, the four, four and the three, six underneath. That's another soak off. Oh, Defender Retreat. Which one? Um, the 4-4 four, four, um, that's... Um, with the horse artillery. With the horse artillery underneath. Do you have to attack the stack? Yeah. 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 Right. So, done. Um, all right. So, everyone else will now attack that 4-4, four, four, which is... Um, I've got a guy under it, hasn't it? Six. All right. So, I've got 10... 20, 35 to 6, 5 to 1. I've got a wrong exchange. Yeah. No, he's gone. Two, D. All right. Not good. Not good. Not good. Um, I think that's it. So All right. That, sorry, that was the stream doubles him. No, it doesn't because I've got a guy. He, he was not a, yeah, it was, it was an ex exclusive attack. Across the stream. Yeah. Who was that's why that guy ran into the middle. Yeah. Right. And that's why there was so many soak off attacks to support. Uh, that's very courageous. It was. Yeah. Uh, so much for my killings. All right. Um, <laughs> Daniel, would you like to move your front first? How far can um, commanders move? Uh, well, they've got a movement of six. I think, yeah, they've got a movement of six. Oh, well, they're, sorry. The, um... Oh, don't bring Alton up there. You can bring him on the um, this side of the map, can't you? Right. I don't know where I can come bring him on. Hold on. Doesn't say. I think it comes on from the south, or from the north. There's entry hexes somewhere up there. Their, their, their hexes are listed on the, um, with the reinforcements, so... This says Alton. I don't... Where does... Beyond. Alton would come on with, he's, he'd come on with the uh, third division, so he comes on there at Q0103. Zero. Q0103, so it's down on the left hand side, it's, it's basically up here at the, um. The, the only road that comes on from the um, left hand side. To Nivelle. Is it the road to Nivelle? Yep. Yes. Oh, over there. Yep. Okay. Does that make you happier? Not really, because he's, he's on, on by himself. He's got no troops. So he might as well just sit there until his troops come they on. Come next turn. turn. <clears throat> Back in the tick. One of the funny things I found about this game is just how tiny the Waterloo battlefield is. It's just yeah. a little tiny thing in the corner of the top left map.
Dann. I'm really going to have to throw out some sacrificial units. Luca, he's sacrificial. He'd charge. That's what he did. <laughs> yeah. Have the allies surrendered yet? Nope. <laughs> Anybody need a Napoleon at Leipzig? Uh, Which one's that? Um, the OSG one. Uh, one of them. I, I came with. I wanted to buy a Napoleon Bonaparte in Italy, the original version, and it came with a Napoleon at Leipzig. Oh. But I already have one. So. Uh, which uh, edition is the the one? Hmm? Which edition is the Napoleon at Leipzig? Does it have the um, Rick Barber map? Uh, that's, I think, a Clash of, when it, Clash of Arms edition. Hang on. I think it's the OSG one. I've got that one. We'll have to play some OSG games now, because if we're going to play this, it's the same thing. And there's lots of options to play that. It is... Yeah, I reckon that's the OSG one. Okay. The one with the French cavalry charging at Waterloo, <laughs> which seems inappropriate because it's Leipzig, but... <laughs> Daniel, is there a... Um, was there a Marshall Enterprise version of Austerlitz? Yes, an early one, I think, was done. It's one of the first games. Okay. Because I'm surprised to find that I've got three Marshall Enterprise games. Really? Because they're pretty rare, the, the originals. Yeah, I've got... Um, oh, let me see. I've got... Um, Ilau. Ilau? How do you pronounce? Prush. Ilau. 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 And... Oh, God, I can't see from here. Hold on. The Wagram. There was a Spanish battle. I uh, can't remember which one that was. 
Earth Day. Earth Day. Yep. 1806. 1806. Yep. So, and it's, I don't know where I got them from, but it's marked as Marshall Enterprise Volume 1 and Marshall Enterprise Volume 2. So. Oh, we can't do that. Is it the, um, Daniel, is it the um, one with the white box? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's an old OSG one. I think I want to get Austerlitz. That battle just confuses the shit out of me. Austerlitz? Yeah. I, I think it confuses the shit out of the Russians, too. Oh, nice one. <laughs> Austerlitz game up here. Um, the Hexasim game, Rising Eagles. Austerlitz looks very good. Is this our first Napoleonic game that we've ever played? Probably. Yep. yep. Oh my god. There's lots of good Napoleon games. There are. I've got most of them. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon the, the, the Zooka games, which are basically discs with a few extra bells and whistles, are fun because um, they're easy. They would work better if you could move more people at the same time, um, which the other modules might. I want to try um, War and Peace. Oh, the, the new version? version? Hey? The new, new version? version? Well, yeah, no, I haven't got the new version. I've only got the original old. Oh. Did you? Version. I can't remember who bought the new version. You both. Um, I've got your one, uh, haven't I, David? Yes, you do. And Daniel, you bought it too. Did you see they're bringing out a new edition? Yeah. And Kickstarter? I sold it out. <laughs> yeah, I. Um, I bought it with, so the guy I bought the War and Peace with, I put in to get the uh, update kit. Which was, um, is, there any, is there an update kit? Yeah, yeah, yeah uh, on Kickstarter. What's the, what's the update kit for? What's wrong? Um, what's missing? I don't know it? what they changed. I, I have no idea what they've changed, but it's about 30 bucks, I think. 39. That's um, a lot. It is. I think there's a yeah, map. Is, is it Mark McLaughlin? Mac it's sure. Mark McLaughlin, isn't it? Yeah. It is Mark McLaughlin, but it's very annoying. But since I spent whatever it is, one hundred and seventy dollars on it, I decided that I may as well get the update kit and make it as updated as possible. I can see it from here. It's looking. Did he, he, did oh, it he did the original? Did he? He did the original game. He did. Yes, but he didn't. He didn't really do this one. Someone else did the update. Oh, okay. Jay Gant, whoever that is. Uh, well, he worked with him, but it was mainly the other guy that did all the update stuff. Because uh -huh. McLaughlin did Napoleonic Wars too. It's like $67 like. plus postage. Yeah, no, it's not cheap. For an update kit. I know. It's ridiculous. Which is I mean, sort of tantamount to saying we got the game wrong, so we're now fixing it. Yeah, I don't quite know what they're even updating, but I decided I had to have it because it annoyed me that I'd already bought it. Yeah, um, look, I think we can all understand that thinking, Nick. It doesn't yeah. make any sense, though. No, no. But no, we no, understand no. it. <laughs> um, the other game that'd be fun, Napoleon, when he's um, the other Mark McLaughlin game, Napoleonic Wars, the CDG game. That, that makes it a really good multiplayer game. Yeah. All right, I'm done. Done. All right, you've got two attacks. Yep. All right, extreme right. Uh, I'm at I'm at six, attacking four, one to one. one. I retreat. That's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> and the artillery at one to one as well. Uh, yes, I don't think I've got the artillery up here. I oh, sort of. Just, Three. Still uh, one to one now. Yep. Yes. Still one to one. Roll it. Attack retreat. You retreat. Oh, hang on. No, sorry. I'm thinking about defend yeah. retreat. Yep. No, again, unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know, because if you retreat, um, then I can stay in contact with you. But then having said that, it's my turn. So, yeah. Yeah, you're going to kill me. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm oh, so it's our turn again. No, I'm attacking. God. Oh, All right. Hang on. I, I, was, I just assumed <laughs> you were there. I just assumed you Oh, actually, you've got a lot of stuff over the there. The allies are that. getting off their backsides and doing wow. something. Wow. So we're attacking the cavalry unit. Yep. 
That's at uh, three and five is eight and five is 13. Three to one. Three to one. And it's... Uh, I should have put that in there, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> three to one's been pretty good. Three to one. Okay. You can't die on the three to one, so it's all right. Of course, you can't kill him. Oh. Is that defender retreat, probably. Yep, there it is. Yeah. That's probably. Oh, no, hang on. And the I've got one to one on the seven on four. Seven four on board in. Six. Six. Tacker retreat. Tacker retreat. We're gonna do a displacement here. No, 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 you, no, you just move. You have road. to go on the road. Yep. You can't I don't think you can displace unless um you've got another option. Done. All right, now it's out to That's exciting. <laughs> uh I'm feeling quite nervous, to be honest. Oh, I feel like it what's actually in command control now. One, two, three, one, two, three. Um, so the Emperor can put and um oops. And the guy. So ninety two dollars Australian for the update kit posted. Yeah, I, I don't wanna know. I, I like I, I didn't hear anything you just said. That's like a new game. Yeah, the original game is double that. Tell you what you get. I know. So actually, Daniel, uh, sorry, Bill. Yep. What was what was your um, cost for for Abitia's game? Uh, it was a hundred and sixty-eight euro. Uh, which uh, I can't remember what that translates. I didn't inquire too much about what happened. No, no, no. I mean, you, I'm just surprised you got one. But if that was what he was charging for a. Um, an unboxed version. No, no, but it, that that included forty euros postage. Oh, really? Mm. So it was. Oh. Uh, it was. Yeah, it was one twenty eight, I think, or one twenty five, or something like that. So, what did that translate to Australian dollars? Uh, I'll tell you. You need to write it. <laughs> no. I... Don't, don't speak too loudly. <laughs> no, she's not here, so I'm okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Euro. One sixty-eight euro. So I thought I thought you would have known. No, I couldn't remember. Two seventy-three. Yeah. Um. I think we Nick and I paid in Australian dollars close to. Yeah, I can't. I can't move when um, Nick's moving because <laughs> <laughs> Matt goes yeah. everywhere. <laughs> Co close to two hundred and eighty. I think a copy. Yeah. You paid two eighty. Mm. Oh well, I effectively paid um, eighty, two eighty. Right. Okay. So that's all right. Um, except that was the price that he would have charged me for an unboxed version. So yeah. And in fact, he gave me a boxed version. No, it, it, the guy's amazing. He really is. Yeah. He's done a great job with the game. It's yeah. Not often you see a game that big, that complex, scoring a nine rating average on BGG. It's pretty impressive. Yeah. I, and the other thing is that you're, I think, Nick, you said the rules are really easy and well well written. I've, re I've read about half of them. I've, I read yeah, I've read about half of them. And yeah, they're well, well done. Yeah. Very easy. It's not just great to use charts. The booklets are good quality. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah, my bank balance is really hoping that he's only going to produce one more game. Yeah, that's not happening. He's going to do lots more. <laughs> he's got a thing for for modern European warfare, hasn't he? Yeah, he's going to do quite a few more. <laughs> I reckon. I reckon he'll do some naval games. Well, he's done in terms of sixty kilometers to Frankfurt. Yeah, he's got that expansion uh, coming out for the British front. And he seems uh, such a nice bloke too. And he's also doing one for the invasion of Iran. Oh, okay. 
Um, Actually, what's happening about the GDW Third World War model? Uh, next year. Okay. Yeah. That's something that we should play on Vassal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's, a, there's a Vassal module for it, so... Yeah. Uh, it's 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 manageable counter-density. Let me know when you're done, Nick, and I'll do... I'll do. Uh. <laughs> Well, it's it's it is. It's not. It's not. They're not huge. The the trouble with it is sort of like, it's it's a bit of sort of like, trying to do a complex dance move because it's like, there's a movement that takes place here, and then there's a special movement that takes place there, and then there's a reserve movement that takes yep. place there, and and I, I mean, the, any time I ever played it, I always fucked it up. So. Um, um, my brother Greg and I used to play it. He he loved that game. So, um, it, there was a lot of eye rolling on his behalf, and you're being <clears throat> stupid and stop that. And <laughs> this is how you do it. And... Oh, he's committed the guard. <clears throat> Isn't there a rule about that? There is a rule about that. Yeah, I don't know. remember what it is. No, I can't remember. I think you wanted to retreat because it's bad. Oh. Yeah, yeah, but I think fine. it only applies to normal games. Not, I don't know. Maybe it does. I don't know. Uh, I don't think you can waste your time not doing it. They're not grenadiers of the guard, they're chasseurs, so that's okay. Chasseurs. Chasseurs. I think I saw that in the British Museum, a breastplate uh, from the Battle of Waterloo. Yes, that famous one. Yeah, with a hole yep. in it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, is that in, that's in the Louvre, uh, in the... Or is that in the Moor? Yeah, it's in the Napoleonic Museum. Is it? Whatever that one's called. It's in it's the Invalids. Yeah, I'm, sure I, I'm sure I saw it. Uh, Another one you mean? <sighs> I mean every, everybody's got a picture of it. <laughs> yeah, I've got a picture of it. It is really impressive that Ridley Scott went to that level of detail to work out Hussar uniform changes over the course of 20 years. Yes, when you have a look at the credits of the film, yeah. they have 20 dressmakers. So they have, I think, uh, four principal actors. Kubrick was going to do a, uh, a film on Napoleon. Was he? Yeah, there's a book about it. I've got the book. Oh, it's enormous. Okay. Right. All his research stuff that he had, um, he was doing it at the same time the research that Waterloo came out, and so he didn't do it. Uh. My, the f I must have been about 14 or so, and the film Waterloo came out. Yes, that's the one. And my, I dragged my aunt. My aunt said, well, because I spent the weekend with her, it's like, what film do you want? I wanted to see this. I wanted to see this film so bad, and she just wanted to take me to something stupid like Swiss Family Robinson or Disney or something. But <laughs> so I dragged her to this, and I don't know. She might have slept, <laughs> <laughs> but I sat there absolutely enthralled, and it started. That was, that was, I, I would have been younger than that. I would have been year seven. So I would have been 12, 13. Um, I, that started in me a thing which became more gaming. Yeah. I, I think, when did Battle of Britain come out? Oh, that's, oh, my that's, that's 72. No, no, it's earlier. Is it? Yeah. 68, 67, uh, that, that period, late 60s is where all the good war movies came out. Uh, I can't 
looking it up now. Yep. Bill. 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 69. Yep. Bill. Oh, am, am, we, am I ready to go? No, no, no. Look, at, look at what I'm holding up. He's holding something for you to look at. Oh, sorry. I, oh, the army's in Waterloo? Hold on. I haven't, got the, I haven't got the camera on. Hold on. It's the book for the film. Oh. <laughs> There's a there's a weird bit in that film. Just saying, oh, there's, there's a several weird, weird bits in that film. There, a, <laughs> there are several, but the weird the bit is, the, is the, the British soldier that oh the guy runs out and says, yeah. "Oh, we must love each other." Yes, <laughs> well, let's all be in love. Let's all hit, hold hands and yeah, that's silly. Yeah, Battle of Britain was the first war movie I saw. Age would have been six. I was about, I, that's probably just about the first one I ever saw. I was about that's a great eight, movie. 10, and my dad said, oh, let's all watch Battle of Britain. And in my image was, it was, I didn't know what it was. And I thought it was just World War One trench warfare. That's what I imagined it was going to be. I was yeah. so surprised. It was like, wow. It was awesome. <laughs> I watched it with my son who was about, when he was about 1969. Yep. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I, I had the cards. Did you have the cards, the Scanlon's cards? Or whatever they were? Oh, or... my God, I remember uh, those. <laughs> no, I was traumatised, but there's a scene in that where there's a German bomber. He gets shot in the head and his goggles fill with blood. Oh yes. That was oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And the guy yeah. and the guy in the in the cockpit is on fire and he Yeah. It, yeah. it as a six year old it quite it cost me a few problems. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My 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 other aunt at that time, tried to get me to see, um, a, or she wanted me, or she made me sit through a film called Reach for the Sky. Do you remember? Oh, Douglas Bader. Really? Douglas Bader. Yeah. Bader. Yeah. 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 What's his name? Um, yeah. He's also in Sink the Beer Smart. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, I know what he is. Kenneth. Yes. Kenneth somebody. Okay. Yeah. Are you on your move, Bill? Look, not a fault okay. of the actor, but. Oh, I, yeah. I, I think he's great. He's um, but Reach for the Sky, a bit of a puff piece. It was, but still, it was great. Um, I got to see the um, Tom Hanks, Grey Shepherd. What's it called? Grey, yeah. Grey Shepherd. Uh, uh, Greyhound. Yeah. Greyhound. Yes. Oh, yes. I quite like it. I really the like best, it. The best bit about it was the U-boat commanders talking to the destroyer. Yeah. <laughs> Love that <laughs> shit. <laughs> What's your problem, Greyhound? <laughs> I will back come for you. <laughs> yes, you're all going to die. <laughs> oh, that, that was interesting. They all attacked on the surface. Yeah, well, that that wouldn't. Oh, they would have at night. They would have at night, but um. Yeah, yeah. Look, uh, again, done on a budget. Um, well, no, it was also it was early in the war, so they might have done that. Well, yeah, was faster was, on the surface. It was a fairly cheap movie. Uh, um, Greyhound. Oh. Yeah, a lot of CGI. Uh, three days shooting on the bridge somewhere on a river somewhere in the United States. Job done. <laughs> uh, Bill, are you moved? I'm doing so now. Oh, okay. I don't think I can run fast enough. No, you're going to get outflanked there. Yeah. yeah well, see, that's the thing is if Dolong had been able to do that, yes, then I know. Waterloo would have been a very different. It would have been a Napoleonic victory. How, and how's Durlong getting his his um, command rating there? Well, he can't attack, but he can still move. Right. Yeah, it's about manoeuvre. We're, we're doing a Frederick the Great thing. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm ready. Do you go first, Nick, or do you want me to go first? Oh, you can. I think I've got a few more. Oh, no, you've got quite a few too. Oh, I'll have to go, Bill. Okay. All right, so I'm attacking uh, here. Here, here, and here. That's 12 to 4. 12 to 4. So that is, uh, by my calculations, 3 to 1. 3. Do you are away, please, Daniel. Is that the guy in the red? Uh... It's Marn, the artillery hex, Marn. The artillery. Mm. Marn, full stop, so it's. Man. <laughs> oh, you man. Okay, so um, I will advance. Oh, that's risky. <laughs> oh, what are you? 
Well, he should hopefully push. Well, I don't know. Six to oh, got six, that five six to three over on the flank here. Soy versus Pink. Uh, yeah. Soybean. So that's uh, two to one. Four. That's a retreat, I believe. It is a DR. Mm -hmm. And uh, twelve to five. Two to one. <coughs> one. DR. Ouch. Retreat. And he is dead. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Are you in it? No, nope, you are not in it. So I can't. Oh, wow. And then finally, one to one here. He's uh, with die, it? It's only a one to one. Oh, but I did it. Yeah. Well, the, uh, the allies just disintegrated in the middle there. Oh, no, there you go. And preset back. And over here, I've got 10 to. I hope we're seven. Saying woods didn't double. No, no. Only effects cavalry. One to one. Okay, so that's one to one. Where are we? Six. Oh, that's you okay. retreat, Bill. Over there. Okay. You're about to lose a lot of more stuff then. Right. Oh, we're going to lose a five, six probably. But... All right. I'll start on the left. So that's 15 to. I think it's a three and a four, isn't it? Uh, seven. And I suppose you're triple there. I did that wrong. So I went to two and I retreat. Oh, that's where Milo went. <laughs> He's near here. I don't know if that's the kick him up. I was wondering where he'd gone. I've lost him. He'll be around somewhere. And he's sitting on top of Van Dam, who I couldn't find either. Anyway, Good. <laughs> yeah, one one. All right. Um, this artillery piece, um, that one. Yep. Is it's doing the soak off. Through and do a soak off at one to two. Two. Uh, That's a retreat. Nicely done, artillery. Really? Mm. Bloody hell. Nice shooting. We have, we have French artillery. It's quite good. Um, no, Send flowers to the widows. 11, 21. 25, 31, and 4. 35 to 9 is, oh, it's 3 to 1. Yep. Oh, it becomes 4 to 1 because I've got um, combined. Uh, combined arms. Yep. I can live through four. this. Yeah, but you couldn't actually live through it. It's just yeah, like it's what you took with you. Middle-aged denial. <laughs> <laughs> All I had left. <laughs> Um, um, this artillery, so I've got a six, a, a six, a three, and a six. So that's 15 to six. That's two to one. Yep. Oh, are you in a bit? No, sorry. It's Across the stream. 15 to 12, one to one. Yep. Two, retreat. Bloody hell. Shit. No, not that one. No? No. Which one? That one. That one. I just moved. Oh, you, yeah. just an artillery uh, attack? Yes. Right. Show off. Right. Yeah. Done. Yep. That's uh, fine. Right. So, uh, you're in there. You're in there. Three. 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 Oh, wait a minute. Is there a line of sight there? Because you're firing through. Oh, it isn't. Yeah, there's another town there. Oh, oh there's yeah. a town in front. Sorry, my apologies. Yeah. Uh, putting, That's fine. Um, I can't shoot through that. So I won't shoot there. Oh, I'll just shoot through. No, oh, there's a town next to me. Jeez, I stuffed that on. The town's everywhere. I think we're in them properly. Anyway, um, all right, so let's have a look at him. He's a three, double is six. Um, I can attack him with 11. 18. So it's three to one. Three. So he does retreat after all. The three, four guy. Yep. Oh, 
Um, the five and the four will attack the two. So that's yes. four to one. Mm -hmm. The three, he retreats. And the three and the four will attack the two, which is double, which is a four. So that's. Ever is halved? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so they're halved. Yeah. So um, four Total and double. Yeah, so five and a half to four, one to one. Yeah. One, you retreat. And your artillery is half. Yeah, sorry, your infantry. Sorry, you oh, it was hard too. So it's hard into the woods. Yep. So it would have been five. Yeah, so it's still it's still one to one. Yeah. Um, so I don't think I even needed the cavalry there. Anymore. No, uh, no. I'll work that out afterwards. Uh, All right, five. Are you, I think you're in woods. Attack me, So you're four, and I'm fourteen. So three to one. One retreat. Rolling well. Yeah, this is always scary because the time when it matters it probably won't. Oh, this is one that matters. All right. So you're six. Yep, you're six. Yeah, I'm attacking yeah. with What's... two. It's okay. What's my name? Ten, twelve. So it's two to one plus yep. combined arms okay. is three to one. Yep. Four. Uh, they are. So they're gone. Uh, and that's it for my guys. Okay. Um, then I'll, time to move. Need any help? Are you alright, Bill? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just moving. I'm concerned. <laughs> well, maybe I was having a epileptic fit. That's what I was a bit concerned about. So what game turn are we on? Um, turn three, I think. I've been moving this. Uh, on the right-hand side is the right. Yeah, turn three. It's 1,600. One, two. Right. So uh, you should yeah, be yeah. We're on turn three. Being... Um, okay, Claire, are we doing all of the Allied reinforcements correctly? Yeah, you're right down the bottom. So 1,600, there should be three things there. Yep. I think, Daniel, it's time to bug out. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm definitely running. You're in the zone of control. You can't move out. No. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't worry about those units. <laughs> it's yeah, it's willy. Yeah, I'd set up a whole lot of one to three attacks and everything else run away. Well, they're all bloody commanders anyway. Prince William of Orange. Well, the other thing is, um, all of your units are actually out of command, so none of them can attack. Well, no, they're not, because I've just moved all those. those... I thought uh, command only um, was set up at the start of movement. And they're all there. I, I just was feeling... Oh, you ran them away, did you? Yeah. Oh. I was yeah, going to say, yes, if you no, were no, out of command... They look like they're pretty... Oh, you're... Yeah. Your Brunswickers three, and your Dutch left. down on the side of the road probably will have problems, but yeah, but that means they just get to retreat. Yeah, that's right. I know that at the moment is not a bad thing. Hmm. But if you're out of command, you automatically retreat. Yeah, yeah. So that's what we looked at before. It's um, right. <laughs> Bill Red and went. Oh, I don't know what that means. Uh, so that's what I'm ready to get. Okay, well, that's a that's a key there. tactic. Yeah, at the beginning of your combat phase, if you're out of control, uh, you retreat. Zoc, either all the enemy units must be retreated in combat, or your out of command unit must retreat. Right. After, so, so, yeah. Automatic retreat if you're on a Zoc. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so it basically gives you. Um, but having said that, assuming you still get, I get to follow up still. 
So it's basically you like your old, you know, a, yeah, a four or five. That's going to help me with three. some surrounding units. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. Yeah, you've got to run your generals away so they can't attack. Yeah. How typical of 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 command. Oh, where's my chateau? I need my Daniel, mm. you've got an option here. Yeah. Just run your commander away. They're out they have. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. So right. they're all going to retreat up before combat because they can't do anything else. Yep. We're all going to die anyway. Yep. So, um, Bill, do you want to do your follow-ups? Um, or not. You don't really have to because it's your turn. No, to exactly. Give yeah. you a chance to surround them. Um, I can't see a chance to surround, so I'm just going to leave it as is. Okay. All right, I'm going to begin my movement. Here go the fresh eyes. <laughs> I um, I've discovered that a um, what they call a touchpad works really well with Vassal better than a mouse. Um, oh, right. who's who's moving the map? Oh, sorry, I was. <laughs> oh, could be help. This is this is a problem. I've got a unit which I'm moving at the moment, and <laughs> yeah, well, got that, an act, that was, I've got it active, and I don't know where to put it down. Yeah, no, that was <laughs> happening to me before. I was like, I picked up a unit, and suddenly my whole map was over at the on the. I know right, it's confusing because because right in all the other games you can sort of enter yes. new stuff, whereas this one you can't. Yeah, well, because that's sides for you. That's yeah, it's set up as sides. Yeah, I think if they all chosen to be observers, would have. I was, I, but I was just thinking about the way you could do this. Is what you do is you'd make every core a side, and then every commander you you take the role of a commander, and you you have the sides assigned to you. But at any point in time that you want to change a core to you know from me to um, Nick, I just unhand control of that core over oh, to okay. Nick. Mm. So I might, I'm I'm just having. Sorry, I've got to the stage in my life where I, I think more about Vassal than games. <laughs> it was good. Um, I, um, your, your, I don't know who, what his name is. Um, uh, Nick, he seemed okay with uh, the stuff that was done. Oh, Paul. Yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah. Um, I'll put cool. backs on those cards. Okay. Um, core commanders have to be, what, further than three hexes away from Yes. Yes. Right. Good. Core officers. It doesn't matter. Thulman can't be in um, in command control anyway because he's not within 
five hexes of um, Bluka. So your second yeah, core is out. That's of. right. Yeah. 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 I prefer um, what he's done with the new rules in that if um, the officers aren't in command range, they can roll against their own initiative to, to activate, I think. Oh, okay. Good. But the flip side is if you're not in command range and you're out of command, you can't even move. Uh, so it, so it you're frozen. Um... Yeah. Oh, I like that. Actually, that... And also, each individual unit can also try to activate itself if it's not in range of its officer. Okay. So that must be, everything must have a, some sort of activation level. Initiative. Everyone. No. Between. So they've all, all got the same combat movement values, like, but they all also have an initiative value, um, uh, which is generally between two and four, most of them. Mm -hmm. And you've got to roll equal to or less than your initiative to activate. Okay. Um, and it also initiatives help with combat a bit too. You get a bonus if you've got a higher initiative. It's like morale. There are a few other things that they've got cavalry charges. So you can um, put cavalry into an attack, which stops people from retreating if the cavalry get through. Um, your artillery can shoot three hexes instead of two. I can't think what else they've got. A few other things. Um, the supply rules were always massively criticised in this game. Yeah, so the new one's got um, supply rules. Basically, you've got a supply wagon. Yep. You have to trace to the supply wagon. Um, and yep. you only have to trace every half dozen turns. Sorry, I've got a domestic emergency I'll be back in a minute oh, no. Of Nick. emergency really needs a bit more work. I'm going to be doing my automatic retreat, right. commencing from the right. Mm -hmm. uh, advance? Yes? No? Um, yeah, I'll advance there. Yes. Right. That's it. That's it. It's now seventeen hundred. Right, I'll do mine first. <clears throat> right. I'm going off to get some coffee. Work out who's actually in control in, in the zone. Right. Let's have a look at you, Daniel. All right. Do you want to do your first build? All right. Think. Um, 
so you're in command range of Marshal Ney, that's good. I'm done. So Dernal is still out of command, and Dan is in command. Corey and a stupid little one as you are, is in and puzzles out here. So where are we at, gents? Oh, um, Nick's doing his turn. Right. Yeah, you need some um, you need some rules around cavalry screening and what have you. I think. To... Oh, the the new one's got cool rules because everything's hidden, and you your light cavalry can convert into vedettes, and they do scouting. It works really quite nicely. Okay. Where did, where are these rules? Um, Board game geek or no no on the um. I'll send you the link just on the okay. uh, Zucker's website. I might um, fiddle with this game at some stage and make it so those cores are individual sides. It's. Yeah, no, there's just always something elusive about this game. It doesn't quite hit the spot. There's a, no, but I, I don't think it's something that can't be fixed or anything. Um, uh, well, I, I just don't know how. I mean, as I said, I haven't revisited this since 86. 
but it's still a testament to the simplicity of the game that I still know what to do. Mm. <laughs> or at least I think I know what to do. <laughs> well, it's it's sort of like muscle memory. Mm. <laughs> You remember without even knowing why you remember. Yeah. Exactly. So, um, Daniel, I, uh, I got your list. Thank you. Um, when you die, who do you want us to... Do you want us to manage uh, the disposal of your estate? Daniel? 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 <laughs> Daniel? <laughs> oh, Daniel. Oh, he's not there. No, he's not over. I didn't notice that. Um, Thank you. God, he's got some good stuff. <laughs> yeah, from what I can tell, his play at his place, the distance between the post box and the front of the house is quite significant, meaning that security could be quite lax. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, can I recommend that because he's not here, once quarantine's um, lifted, and uh, uh, curfews lifted. We should just like get out our balaclavas and pay it a visit. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it wouldn't take much. Oh, look, he's back. Because, <laughs> yeah, 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 I certainly know from people who have large libraries of books, for instance, um, or in fact, there was a very famous um, theft in a. Muse uh, I think it's a museum of birds, of stuffed birds. It took people years to work out the theft. Oh, really? Yeah. Why? Be what? Because the, the collection was poorly curated or...? Oh, no, it, was, it made it very easy to find what was valuable to take. But so long as you're not taking things... And look, for argument's sake, put this in a wargaming context. So not, so long as you're not taking, a, say, for instance, an SBI soapbox... Yeah. Um, no one would miss it. Exactly. I reckon between the three of us, we could work it out. <laughs> I'm sure we could do something. <laughs> oh, now, Daniel and gentlemen, did you see the post in Wargaming, Wargamers earlier this week? A gentleman in Hungary... Yes, I saw that. I contacted no. him straight away because <laughs> I saw the list and I thought, yep, I'm interested. A library guy? Yeah. He's got Multiple they've, copies. They've got a huge collection of SPI games, Command games, Avalon, a whole heap of stuff. Um, yeah. So I contacted it's... him and he's contacted me and said, look, you know, I'm going in on Sunday. I'll have a look. So I'm waiting with interest. I'd, I've just put in a request for some command magazines. Oh, okay. With games. Yep. It was a lovely magazine. What do you need? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are digital copies available. I've got yeah, some. I've, got, I've got all of them in digital, I think. Yeah. Oh, in command. I haven't got them. Really? I've got spares. Oh, I'll load them up. I've got. I've got. Um, I've got uh, a long time ago, David gave me. What was the magazine? It was the English one. Wargamer. Wargamer, and I've got moves. Yep. But that's all I've got. Um, I think in William Hayes' 
um, it, archive it yeah. or somewhere. somewhere. Yeah. But they're, they're about. So I can, yeah, I can put them down. It, look, I have to say, it was it was a lovely magazine. What well, yeah. command? Yeah, yeah. yeah what? He said, "Put some shit in it, basically." Oh, look, it, it was like it was patchy, like a lot of things. Oh, they had some great stuff. I mean, proud monster and. Yeah, yeah there's yeah, some magnificent yeah, yeah. stuff um, and some absolute shit. Exactly. And Lion of Ethiopia was good. The one Spartacus, the one Alexandros. I'm, the one I'm after is the 1943 victory in Europe. So it's the a, a proposed 1943 invasion of Europe. Yeah, that's a bomber. Which one is that? a bomber, which, is it? It's a bomber. What's that called? I'd have to call victory check. in Europe or something. Oh. Could be. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, Bomber did a lot of designing for Command, but I would say that... It... He was the editor. He owned yeah. it. Yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. I'll start and the early back. editions were yeah, some right. of Bomber's best work. Yeah. But, of course, he didn't. He hasn't done anything since. This guy here, David, yep. I'm moving about, he has to retreat. We are, okay. Yep. Uh, yeah. Shit, I don't want to retreat. Oh, fuck. Well, you can just retreat uh, straight back. There's no problem with that. Yeah, I know. But uh... did I get FPS? No. <laughs> Sorry <laughs> <laughs> to ask. <laughs> All right, he's got to go there. Um, all right. It's okay. I've got nine, eleven, five to one. I better roll high. No, don't roll high. No, I didn't. Was yeah, it second yeah, front roll. now? That's it. That's it. Second yep. front now. Sorry. De now. Uh, yep. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Just rather than pointing it out. Was the other one I was uh, yep. interested in was there was Czechoslovak the. Very yeah, 38. Oh, yeah, that, that wasn't so good. Was oh, 24 and no. 44. He's dead. Hang on. Uh, and I just exchanged. Yep. Um, s and did a case green. Yeah. Uh, um, wasn't yeah. good either. No. Uh, and the other one I was interested in, because there were about three or four, was yeah. um, when, tig when Tigers, tigers fight, fight, which is the... Tigers fight or when Tigers burn. Uh, well, it was. I'm not sure which one it was. It, Tigers. I, did, I do know that there were two of them, but there, there. It was the one of dealing with the yeah, Japanese no. offensive in China. Wonder one. Which I know yep. absolutely nothing. When about. Tigers fight. Yeah. Uh, oh, retreat, Nick. Mm. Uh, four to one. Four to one. Four to dr. That's this guy, dr. The three four. Napoleon's encamped in Linny. Uh, yep. 11, 23. Right, that's a 3 to 1 there. But the Prussian army is a still. 3 to 1 with 5 is a DR. Yeah. And he's only got one spot to go to, which is there. Uh, and then going across into that town, you're a 6, and I'm hitting you with. 11, 20, and 12, 32. But the Czechoslovakia, oh, six to one. if he hasn't got it. Six to one? Three. I've got yeah. the Czech one, if he hasn't got it. Right. In command. Mm. Yeah. Um, all right. Um, that's it for my attacks. Thank you, Nick. Daniel, your move. Oh, uh, Bill hasn't had his attacks yet. Uh, no. Hasn't he? No, I did mine first. Oh, you, you, you well, radical, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> I was already on my side of the map. 
Fine. All right. Bill. Um, 15 to 7 is 2 to 1. 3. Um, and I will advance that. And six to one. So it's the artillery versus the artillery. Six to one. Five. Oh, no. No, no. Yes. It's exchange. Yeah. But it doesn't affect me. Oh, was that? Sorry, is that bombardment? Yeah. It? Yeah. Yep. Oh. That's why I did it. <laughs> I, oh, I didn't see that. Oh, very That's nice. why I did it. Go. Oh, why nice. pick on the Dutch? Oh, poor Dutch. They're gone. And four to one here. Oh, wait a minute. I still got one there too. Four to one at five DR. is DR. So you got one spot you can go. Bloody uh, hell. Four, seven to four is one to one. And I don't really care about this too much. Six. Yep. Do you want to advance, Daniel? I can't think so. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be running. Yes. It's called Run the Fuck Away. All right. Oh, you're not even close to Waterloo yet. It's miles up the road. Daniel, your turn. Huh. But as it happens, I was looking for a Czechoslovakian M32 helmet this morning. Yeah, because yeah, that's what you're doing. Well, right, exactly, it's yeah, what you do yeah, on Saturday yeah, morning. Yeah, yeah. And they've gone off the market, which is really disappointing. I didn't know they were ever on the market. Mm. There are a few. Right, um, but I've made interest because they were used in Finland. Are you getting the new Finnish game, um, um, the new coin Finnish game, Brothers? Something no. Like something brothers? No. no. It's a Finnish coin, Finnish Civil War. Every Finnish game I've got, it's just Swamp, River, Yeah, but this one's Swamp, River, River. <laughs> <laughs> Forest. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, Dead Russian Patrol. Because for some reason I'm getting all the coin games because I stupidly got one. I love the concept, but every time I've played it, it's just gone a bit into the bit of a blur. Mm. And one of the aspects, uh, like I pl played a lot of um, the Gallic one. Yes, Fallen Sky. Yeah, um, loved the idea, but just couldn't get used to the pace of it. it it's mm. like, you know. I, um, I really enjoy the distant plane, the Afghanistan one. Yeah. Uh, Look, I think that works really well. The system's got a lot of merit. A lot of merit. Mm. Um, it's just alien. Oh, coming down the flank. Well, that's... There's not actually that much there. Oh, there's... Uh, oh, there's Bing. Bing, better Bing. Oh, that'll slow Bill down. So we've got the open left flank there. Nice done pretty well. Where are they? What are we trying to do? How do we win? Get to Brussels. Victory points. Well, I'm just going to. Oh, okay. I'm going to destroy. I just want to destroy everything on the board. Once I've done here, I'm yeah, that gets you. us victory points. Think <laughs> <laughs> of forty victory points if you exit to Brussels. Okay. Yeah, this 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 needs some real cavalry screening rules, I think. Ah, uh, that's a real. It's really difficult. What? <sighs> what do we on? Oh, uh, we're on that turn, aren't we? Uh, Seventeen hundred. Move my map. Yep. yep. Seventeen hundred hours. Um, yep. Well, I reckon that at some point we should then try Zucker's current 
versions of these games because yeah. you might like it Bill, because the sure. um, the vedettes and the inverted counters are great because you can play you know hidden show yep. games uh, all sorts of stuff you well let me let me you can place post up the I'll um, send you the rules the rules and I'll have a look and see what changes I need to make to this I certainly I there's a couple of changes we need made yeah, I think nearly all of the other ones um, already have vessel modules, so that's a good start. Yeah. I'm just running away and can't run fast enough. <clears throat> I don't like that there. That's no good. Have you played Nay versus Wellington, the little one mapper? No, we were going to play that. Yeah, I've never actually played that. So, Daniel, are you done? Pretty much. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's cooked on one side, but let's talk, roll him over and cook him on the other. All right, I'm going to start my turn. Yeah. I've played this with... Um, with Sheldon White a couple of months ago, and... It seemed no, to be a lot more. It seemed to be a lot more tight. Well, I only played Katarabara, so I it, it and it was a lot tighter for some reason. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. We didn't have the um, and we didn't have the uh, command rules, so. I don't know if that does a, has an effect. Well, I would have thought the command rules help the Allies because the French can't attack everywhere. But then again, the Allies well, can't attack up almost at all. Yeah, but I, it, you know, it makes so no. It, it doesn't make an awful lot of difference over at Katarabar because you've only got really one corps and a cavalry yeah, corps. Yeah, so I keep missing that. <laughs> Let's have a look. I've put the link for the rules in Messenger. Yep. Cool. Thank you. That's a good idea. I'll put my phone number in too, David. On Facebook, they got some dice for David. Really? What? Yeah. Five. What's special about those? What's the... I can see the... I'm going to get them into focus. I, don't think I, can... I can see the numbers, but I can't see what the pictures are. It's a word without one. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> you need one at the other end, though. You need ones. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, I'm still arguing on Consum about Kharkov. Sorry. The... Really? Yeah. Come on, it's going to be the beta 2020. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
because I've been because um, two people, Don, Don, Big Don Johnson, and I think Chris Fawcett, both categorically stated that you can't overrun after an infiltration. And I said, why? And they said, oh, because when you hit a zock, you have to stop. No, said, well, no, no, that's. And I said, but that's how overruns work. You hit a zock, you stop, then you do the overrun. And they said, but it's different. And I said, but the rules don't say it's different. Where in the rules does it say it's different? Yep. And they can't they have an answer yet. No, no. I think there's no doubt that that rule is not totally clear. Well, um, I, I think it's not. Yeah, I think it's, it's poorly written. Clear. And and yeah. and and the problem really with it I is is that um, there's absolutely nothing to stop you infiltrating surrounding the unit and then hitting it with an overrun from a normal a normal uninfiltrated hex and then exploiting so maybe you know you, you, you can still do it legitimately it's maybe we're just having a storm in a teacup about it I don't know I, it, I've got to say when it was pulled on me I was really really surprised I was quite surprised by it and I'm I just said I just said to Sheldon because he said, "Look, I'll take it back. I'll just do it the other way." And I said, "No, no, no, no. let's let's do it that way." Um, and and I, I want to see how this pans out. And we we've, we've got to meet on Wednesday to do the next next <laughs> turn. Um, Don's last comment is, it, "I said it doesn't say infiltration and overrun are mutually exclusive." He said, "It implies that you need to figure it out yourself." <laughs> so that, that explains yeah. the way Don writes and develops rules. Yeah. Um, is uh, who are the playtesters for it? Uh, well, anyway. it was it was Stephen B. Um, Patrick, 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 who Patrick? was the developer or designer? Of developer. Yep. Okay. Well, he's on Facebook. Is he? Yeah. Oh, remember. We're, we're close personal friends. All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> Right, right, Lieutenant so General Fieldman. No, you, you yep. can't attack. I can't you, attack because I'm no. way too far from Blue Cup. Yeah, that's a shame. Oh, I'll have to go. Run away. Do some running. Care to advance? No. Nope. Okay. Um, same, same. Uh, no. No. Good. Now all my guard can go back into reserve. So, so uh, Nick, what are these that's... rules that you've given us? These are the, the, the these are Zucker's Library of Napoleonic Battles, which is this system with some extra bells and whistles, yeah. and it covers about fifty battles now. Oh wow! In the Napoleonic Wars, it covers all the key ones. So it's got. Uh, so it's got four or five Russia. It's got about eight, eighteen, fourteen. It's got Leipzig. It's got eighteen oh nine, eighteen oh six, eighteen oh seven, Austerlitz, and four battles in Spain, and a few eighteen thirteen like Belts. Which Russia. ones? Which ones? The last six. And, and Waterloo. Where's, I can't see Waterloo. Mm -hmm. The last success is 809, which okay. I quite like that one. It's really fun. Um, all right, is that our turn again then? I'll, I'll do my turn first then. It's 1800. Ooh. All right. All right, okay. I'll have a, I'll have a close look at that. Uh, I'm not entirely happy. Oh, aren't you? Uh, oh, everyone no. Oh, no, fuck you then. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, I miss our lunches. Well, well it's um, been like six months. No, longer than that. Oh, we've got at least another couple of months to go. I know. Actually, I know. There's a leaked document going around which is meant to be. They're introducing a thing, and I'm not 100% sold on this, but Alice has co got a copy of it. Um, yeah. uh, it. They talk about stage three plus. Yeah. So we go from stage four to stage three, and the only real difference is um, the older kids still go back to school, um, and uh, there's no curfew. Mm. 
Oh, oh and yeah, kids. they've got to let the younger kids, they have to let the and younger kids younger finish. kids Younger kids can go back to childcare, not, not primary school. Oh, oh, they've I, got to let the primary schools, they cannot let the primary schools yeah, stay I, any longer. Look, He's I, driving I, them all insane. I really absolutely am certain that this document is not a final draft of anything. It could very well be just a piece of shit that someone's thrown together for scare the producers. Yeah. Because... Um, the other thing it talks about is no oh. businesses opening. And I'm sorry, this has got to the stage where, you know, no, but, businesses, have to open, have to, yeah. businesses have to function. Yeah, I think they have to open up. I think what they have to do is um, essentially go um, that um, they've got to open stuff up and just um, make people wear masks. Mm. Mm. There'll be no public transport. You know, no one will be going back to work until, uh, you know, after Christmas. Oh, is it our turn, is it? Yes, but I'm moving. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you're moving, so you go. Yep. I don't think I ran away fast enough. No one ever runs fast enough. Well, it's going to be night in a couple of turns, so... It will be too. Uh, oh, it's still three or four more turns. Uh, no, there's only uh, two more turns for night. Yes, well, I've been planting hops, Fuggles, Old Kent Golding, Ooh. Cascade, Cascade. Uh, and Columbus, um, which is all coming along nicely. So hopefully I'll be brewing a number of sort of Belgian saisons and English special bitters mm. in next year. Where do you do your planting? In the back garden or on the balcony. Oh, okay. No, the the bal the, the my what passes for my backyard yeah. Well, yeah. is is uh, aiming to be self sufficient in potatoes and garlic. Ah, so you're <laughs> you're planting for the apocalypse. <laughs> uh yes, indeed. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> We need to get you a bigger garden. We need more beer. <laughs> well, I'm, I am self-sufficient in hops. I've achieved that. Okay. That's a modest goal. I worked at um, the Just Jeans headquarters in Richmond mm -hmm. uh, back in the late 70s while I was studying. Um, and... Um, the whole of the area there was yeah. it, it was just um, it just smelt of hops it and barley and God knows what else. I'm sure I picked up any number of sneezing <laughs> um, allergies for this, but uh, that smell is it just takes me back. It just I love it. <laughs> I love it. There used to be a pub on the um, corner where the, uh, where the freeway o overpass went called yeah, the Yarra, Yarra Inn. And it was this old oh, stupid Tudor place that... <laughs> but, that was um, a well-known well haunt of some very undesirable people. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, the, the, the important thing was that that's where Bill Clancy dined at lunchtime with a few, <laughs> few other <laughs> warehouse workers on Friday afternoons. It's like... Yeah, it was a. It was, 
it was a it was a very very low down dive that place. <laughs> I might have to um, stop at this stage, gentlemen, um, yeah. with our turn, because um, it's my turn to cook. Well, that's fine. So are you going to save the copy of the game, Bill? Yes, I will. Yep. Yeah. All right, we'll just do our turn and then we'll yep. save, because then we're right in the middle of it. Yep. I think here in Northcote, most of the parents have just given up trying to control the kids. The whole street at the moment's just got kids running. <laughs> oh, and one of them is my son, not, so we've given up too. It's not great for them, so. Yeah. Uh, I've done my moves. Um, you want to do yours, Bill? Okay. Look, I feel really sorry for the grade sixes. I feel really sorry for the yeah. preps. Feel sorry for all of them. And really, I think there's no suggestion that kids can catch it, so I really should send them back. Well, yeah, I'm not so sure on that. Well, there's no cases almost. That's because though, I think they've done a good job of protecting the kids. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't think they've done a good job of protecting anybody, really. Two, three, four, five, six. Look, I don't think I'm going to advance massively, I'm afraid. No, you don't have many troops there. You can't no, really. and, and I've got I've got wide open flanks and Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say you probably need to hold there. Yeah. Uh, uh, until Or maybe <laughs> well you could nearly get fling around and hit the top of the pro, uh, Prussian flank. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I think I could I could send a cavalry corps yeah, there, but I, th could send Kellerman off. I think you've got but, enough. You've got you've got enough there. That yeah, and also if you send Kellerman off, there's no one to really com command yeah. him. Um, but, and then you don't have enough there anyway, because eventually the bricks will build up. And I'm just going to put that there. Oh, no, sorry, there and there. Let's do it that way. And actually, I'm going to put that there just in case you decide hey we, we'll do that one as well banger it bugger it we'll do that we're just going to cover <laughs> everything <laughs> Don't worry. suddenly he's got not, nervous about he, no I wouldn't he's not going to take your flank because it opens up his entire flank to do long <laughs> all right okay that's it I'm all done. right I'll do your attack okay um that's four to one yep five yeah Send to eliminate it. Uh, oh, I'll go down and do mine. Um, all right, starting. I've got to work out. I did all this in an order. I can't remember most of it. All right, starting on the left. I've got 10, 15, 17 to 7. That's 2 to 1. To 5, and it's my retreat. Yep. You retreat. Yep. yep. 15. 
to two, seven to one. No, five to one. I'll do the five to one. Yep. Four, that's a DR. I think I did that in a while, but that's okay. Uh, 11, 20, five to one again. Five, is it exchange? Um, oh, I've got some artillery then. I could shoot them. One artillery, four versus... Now, are you in command here? Yeah, it's the guard. Oh, for, uh, the four right. Six. Yep. Yeah, and guard cheese. Yeah. Yep. Okay, yep. Um, for all. Uh, so that's one, two, uh, two. Nothing. Uh, this artillery, the two six artillery, are going to just mass battery against that two four. Six uh, to one. You can't do that in the mules. Bang! He just died. What the? the this one here. Uh, that one. Yep. That's a massacre. You should, that's my Guernica. <laughs> I was going to say, there's two guard. Artillery in its own bang. Yeah. The second yeah. Elb line is no longer Elb or line. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know what I was going to do here. Yeah. Uh, all right, so the... See, he's three. All right, so I'm going to go with the five, the four, and the artillery. So that's 14 nine. To three. 14 to three. 14 to three. Four to one. You've also got the three six too. If you... Where? Oh, that's right. He was there too. That's he was meant to be there as well. That's why he came up. So nine, fourteen, seventeen, five to one with a two. He's there. That's not the right one, is it? Wrong no. one. Undo. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's not that one. That's not where it was either. No, I'll put it. It's, it's yep. there. Okay. I thought you were on my side, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> it's the three four. Third the three four line. Yeah. Right. That's it. All right. And the cavalry will attack at one to two. I forgot mm -hmm. your troops. Um, over here I've got four nine plus artillery is eleven. Your three is three one. Six, which I think is my retreat. Yep. And against your cavalry, I've got eight, ten, twelve. Well, it's way more than I need. Six to one. That's probably too much. Eight, ten, maybe I got five to one. I want to use the artillery. Okay, now I'll just do four to one. I'll just do three to one. No, no. All right, I'll do um, one of those fours, the two seven, and the artillery. So that's eight to two, four to one. Yep. Yep. Oh, yep. One. one. That's a <laughs> DE. And three to three, one to one. He's a two, that's a retreat. I think that's it. Okay. All right, All right. do you want to save that? Oh. Yep, I'll save that.